Thank you. Mr. Mayor, Councillors, my name is Fred Ma. I'm the president of Chinatown Society Heritage Buildings Association. First, I would like to thank Council for initiating the Chinatown Society Legacy Program to assist us in stabilizing our century-old buildings. I'm opposed to the rezoning of this project. I've been an, a volunteer in Chinatown for more than 50 years. I started my volunteering in 1962, teaching English as a, to new immigrants, to uh, new immigrant government workers. Throughout the years, I have opposed the city on issues on projects such as the freeway and the fire hall. I also work with the city on many projects, including raising over $200,000 for the installation of the Han Dynasty Bell, a gift from our city, city Guangzhou to the city of Vancouver. I also chair the committee that installed the Chinese Canadian Memorial Statue at the Memorial Square. Together, the Chinatown Society Heritage Buildings Association owns 12 heritage buildings. Most of, of them are in the unit block and 100 block East Pender. This is part of the reason why Pender Street between Millennium Gate and Gore has been designated as a national historic site. The, popo, the proposed development at 105 Kiefer is right next to the Memorial Square across from the Chinese Cultural Center and the Sun Yat-sen Garden. The square with a statue of a railway worker and a World War II Chinese Canadian veteran is part of our history. The proposed building without any Chinatown character is simply too tall and too massive for the, the site. This area is the heart of, and soul of Chinatown. Chinatown is not for sale. I saw some Chinese Canadians who wore, who were, who were bus, bust in Tuesday wearing red t-shirts with words saying support project at 105 Kiefer. Seniors need housing. It is true that we need more housing for seniors, but at what cost? A few years ago at UBC, a UBC study conducted, uh, concluded that by 2020, we will need 3,300 units for Chinese Canadian seniors, 25 units for seniors housing in the proposed development is only 0.75% of the total. And not all these units are for Chinese Canadians. In fact, there is no guarantee any one of these units will be for Chinese Canadians. I hope the people wearing the t-shirts, red t-shirts, understand this. There are, 110, there are 110 units of market value housing in this project. In a number of city documents, such as the Chinatown Vision, they refer to the census social, economic, and cultural nature of this area. An understanding of the possible social, economic, and cultural impact in this market housing is critical towards making an informed decision of, on this rezoning. Last Friday, your staff distributed the inf information on Chinatown development policy changes. Progress upta update from the staff to community. It mentioned what they have heard from the community. Your staff is are preparing recommendations to you. These include, and I read, these recommendations could help temper land speculation and adjust pace of development. These rec recommended changes envision development to proceed gradually with a mix of new, newer and older buildings and respect Chinatown character. Tall and wide buildings will no longer be considered. Cancel rezoning policy of China's on south over height buildings will no longer be considered. Instead, allow buildings to proceed under the base zoning height of up to 75 feet 
on Pender Street and up to 90 feet on Chinatown South. These recommendations will be coming before you in June. I understand this proposal before you is prior to your staff recommendations. But based on what your staff have heard from the community, you must reject this proposal as it is. So you're at over your five minutes. If you could wrap up in a sentence. Okay, as a question. Like, what I'd like to conclude is that you, know, you as leaders of the city must make a vote and a vote and say no to this project. Thank you.